and gentlemen, I've been wanting to do this vlog for a since I made an episode in this series. Massive tech time, see if it's still possible. Today is I just watched a video of a wedding photographer. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm not the biggest creator in the world. I don't have the best storytelling, nor do I have the best filmmaking skills out of all these other creators here on YouTube. But you know what, I'm gonna try my best and I got some ideas to share with you guys. I'm not one of those creators that have like, you know, their private studio or apartment in New York with the beautiful overrides and all that stuff. Like I'm, I'm here, this is it. Like my son and my fiance are literally sleeping right there. But you know, you know we gotta do what we gotta do to make the content, right? And I, I feel like that's kind of what makes me relatable. You know what I mean? I'm just like a normal dude with a camera who's a little bit nervous right now. But you know, we're trying our best. You know, you just gotta get the camera set up, get some lights here and there, and uh, press record. Record? Press record, whatever. So pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys today is that we got a whole bunch of, you know, Amazon shit. Um, we're looking to build a new PC. Our current PC isn't, you know, it gets the job done. I kinda just wanna do my own thing. Um, I game and I work. And I, you know, my dad, so I do that kind of stuff. But I've been meaning to buy a new PC. And I was like on the fence about buying a pre-built or building it myself. I would save probably around like 300 bucks if I built it myself compared to if I bought a pre-built. And my fiance was like, you should just buy it. I mean, you should just build your own PC so that you know how it works and how, you know, it yeah more or less i forget who told me a long time ago but it's like you don't really own something unless you know how to fix it so i guess that's kind of what we're implementing but yeah we got a whole bunch of shit and uh not all of our parts for our pc are here today so i guess we're just kind of unboxing and just seeing what we got i already know what we got kind of just wanted to share with you guys and when the rest of the stuff comes in we'll edit it into the video so you know the scene might look different or I'll probably be wearing different clothes, probably wearing the same hat, but yeah. So let's get to the unboxing of stuff. Look, look at the space I'm working with here. It's not, it's not much. I gotta grab my table, so be right back. Well, this is what we're working with. You know what I mean? Most creators, they got that big ass table, nice lights behind them and all that kind of shit. Like this is what we got. You know what I mean? We're making it happen. I don't know what's in this one. So like, look, other creators, they got their fancy fucking box openers i just got i got this little guy look at this it's a fucking kitchen knife bro <laughs> it's a kitchen knife we're just using a regular old knife bro so another thing i i really hope while we're i said <clears throat> while we're unboxing this i hope a lot of you guys can kind of relate you know to this not having a lot of room um just having a camera some lights and just making it happen you know what i mean i'm just a regular dude Trying to make some content and uh ooh, ooh. so this is our b650m aorus motherboard check that out super sick so the the cool thing that's about this motherboard is that so our current pc we're on the am4 platform put it this way okay here's a good analogy there's a flathead screwdriver and a phillips head screwdriver am4 is flathead that's like the way it's shaped am5 is uh phillips screwdrivers which is the newer one more upgradable kind of the whole reason why i wanted to get a new pc is to be more future proof because my current pc is um kind of old not really old it's still functional but it's on the am4 chip socket doesn't have ddr5 and we can't really overclock i'm not really looking to overclock anyways but this one is more future proof i'll be able to upgrade to future am5 chip sockets and be able to run on uh, DDR5. So we're super stoked with this motherboard. Just make sure everything's inside of here. <laughs> I don't even know what's supposed to be inside of here, so whatever. I don't know where to put this now. Um, we'll put this on the side. Also in this package, we had our GPU support bracket because uh, the GPU that we're running in this PC build is the Radeon 7800 XT. So, you know, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big, graphics card so i thought it would be good to just have some extra support for it so yeah we got this 
power supply sleeved cables. Yep. This is our sleeved cables. Yeah, cool. Extension cables. Yeah, so those are the last things on our list. Look at th this kitchen knife is, is doing the job. Oh, I see this already. So this will give you guys a further hint on maybe how much our build is coming out to. This is the Corsair 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, RGB. And the clock speed is 600 and, or 6,400 megahertz. So it's super powerful, super powerful. This, this looks clean, this packaging, super clean. And by the way, by the way, guys, this is gonna be the first time I've ever built a PC. And look at this, guys. Look at this, we got our, our um, AMD Ryzen 5 7600X. You know what I mean? This this should really kind of give it away how much um how much this build is really coming out to right now. Super dope to hold these parts. I really hope this comes with thermal paste. Um, let me know in the comments um if this comes with thermal paste. Because if it doesn't, then I'm like, ah, oh, then I gotta wait to get more thermal, like order some thermal paste. Like here in Hawaii, it, it <laughs> shipping is rough. Like I've, I've heard of you guys in the States being like, oh, it took like three days to get here. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Like all this stuff came in really fast. Like this came in like a week, which is really fast for us. This, this box, by the way, was super heavy. I'm guessing that this is the PSU. And I was right. Holy shit, this thing is huge. Oh my god. Ugh. What the fuck? Look at this. This is the Corsair RME series. RM750 watt power supply from Corsair. Look at this beast. Super nice packaging from Corsair. I really like the this font from Corsair. It's like kind of just rugged street looking, but really nice packaging. I, I don't know. I think I just really enjoy opening up this stuff because like I've, I've never seen this stuff in my hands before. This is like all new territory to me. Here is our crucial M.2 NVMe drive. Um, so this motherboard, I think I think so it supports um PCIe 4. Point, or 5.0 but you know what I mean 5.0 I feel like it's super overkill for PC gaming and kind of like it would help for my workflow but I don't think by that much I don't know I could be totally wrong I could be totally wrong I could just be a bigot but also I was trying to keep this whole build on their budget again let me know in the comments how much you think this PC cost um I'll, maybe I'll show you guys like my Amazon cart of the the case, uh, and I'll just blur out the blur out the price of the case in there. But yeah, this is the NVMe drive, and then this is one of the things I'm super super stoked about. So when I was building my PC on Amazon, I was super on the fence about going liquid cooled or you know just like air radiator. I don't know if that's the right word and AIO was a really good idea and I kind of got over it because my case already came with top fans so I didn't really want to do that and this fan just looks super dope this is the deep cool AK 500s digital uh, again from deep cool the CPU cooler guys check out this radiator so the cool thing about this radiator right is that it has a screen on it so I don't know, I had to get it. <laughs> and it was cheaper than like, uh, it was like 10 bucks cheaper, maybe 20 bucks cheaper than the AIO I was looking at. I think also from Deep Cool. But I kind of just wanted this one. I think this one's gonna be good enough. Um, let me know too in the comments if this PSU is strong enough to run everything that I have so far. Like I said, 7800 XT. Hopefully, um, hopefully everything is strong enough. So yeah, so right now this is all we have for our for our build. So yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the valuable time out of Darren and I spent with me on packaging all my stuff. Um, it was it was 
quite challenging, you know what I mean, recording this video, I'm trying to be entertaining and, you know, showing you guys some cool content, I don't know, I think it's cool, I really like watching this kind of stuff, so, you know, do me a favor, please, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and uh, maybe drop a like, drop a comment, you know what I mean, let me know in the comments how much you think this build is coming out to be, I'll show you guys the case and the graphics card, you guys should already know, graphics card 520. Okay, put it that way. I already know that off the top of my head. If you've been in the market. Um, also, I would not consider myself a PC professional. Uh, like I said, my first PC is a pre-built. I'm came from console. But I do, like, 90% of my work is on a computer. So, I need a really good PC. And um, I'm also going to be selling my PC in the future. So, you know, if anybody wants to buy it, I'm going to be selling it for, like, 500 bucks. Easy, out the door, send it to you, easy, you know, you, you, you take that one, bud. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and the night once again to spend it with me here tonight in this video. Um, we'll get out on another video of unpackaging our case and our graphics card, and maybe we'll just get the building from there. So, yeah, thank you guys, you guys have a beautiful night. All right, thank you so much, have a beautiful night. Aloha.